Perfect. 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 Hey everybody, Tribe Nursing here. Uh, today we're going to be covering hiatal hernia. It is part of the new GI series that, that we will be working on. Today we'll be covering the medications involved, uh, the pathophysiology, and some nursing interventions, as well as some diagnostics that occur with hiatal hernia. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and share. Also, something that I am doing new is that I am including study sheets that go along with my YouTube lectures. So make sure to check that out. I'll put a link at the end of the video and you could also find it in the description as well. It's on Etsy.com. So with that being said, let's get started. So what is a hiatal hernia? A hiatal hernia is when the lower portion of the stomach passes through the diaphragm and leads into the chest. So I drew an illustration to demonstrate how that occurs. So here's our diaphragm. The blue line is our diaphragm. The top portion is the esophagus. And here's our lower esophageal sphincter. Here's our stomach. And here's our duodenum. But what we're going to be focusing on is the top portion. So what happens is that a hiatal hernia occurs typically due to obesity or pregnancy. The lower portion of the stomach is going to penetrate through the diaphragm wall, causing a, causing a hernia to occur. Now, this could be uncomfortable for a lot of people. So what the diaphragm is, it's a muscle that wraps around and it keeps everything mostly in place. But after a period of time when a patient has abdominal obesity or is pregnant, um, the lower part of the esophagus and the upper part of the stomach will push through the diaphragm and it will cause certain types of symptoms to occur. Okay, so for the signs and symptoms of hiatal hernia, I do have a mnemonic. Um, it's a very interesting mnemonic to say the least. And it coordinates with what the patient will experience while having a hiatal hernia. So let's begin with that mnemonic. It is hungry, Hippos fought very religious dolphins. Okay, yeah, that's outrageous, but it works. The H in Hungary stands for heartburn that lasts one to four hours after eating. So after a patient eats, they're gonna feel this a sense of a burning sensation within their chest because the opening of the lower esophageal sphincter um, allows stomach content to flow back up. Hippos, the ancient hippos stand for heartburn, again, and it's worse with reclining. Heartburn is worse with reclining. When a patient sits back in the recliner or in their bed, they're gonna experience this sense of burning sensation within their chest again. And, and reclining is going to provoke that symptom to occur. Thought, the F in thought, is fullness, fullness after eating. So after a patient eats a meal, they're gonna feel this sense, like this over sensation that they're completely full. So the V in very stands for vomiting. So the patient will experience some vomiting um, due to that, due to the increase of abdominal pressure, pushing that content up through the lower esophageal sphincter, through the esophagus, and out through the oral cavity. Religious, the R in religious, is reflux and regurgitation. A patient is going to experience some regurgitation after taking in um, some food. Uh, nothing, it's gonna be very difficult to hold down food most of the time. And the D in dolphins stand for dysphagia. Dysphagia is a difficulty in swallowing because with the abdominal pressure, it causes all that acid to move up into your esophagus which can irritate the esophageal lining, which can make it extremely difficult for the patient to swallow, causing dysphagia. So a lot of the treatments that are included with hiatal hernia involve decreasing the abdominal pressure and neutralizing the acidity so, so the patient doesn't experience that terrible heartburn. So for the treatments, patients should have smaller portion meals um, because if a patient eats a larger meal it's going to cause an increase of abdominal pressure the patient is going to feel more full and it's going to cause 
more issues with the hiatal hernia penetrating through that diaphragm. Patient should lose weight as well. By losing weight, it's de the patient is going to decrease the abdominal pressure. So that's very significant with this disorder. Um, the patient should not take in food or water one to two hours before sleeping. What that's gonna do, especially with a patient who has hiatal hernia, is that since the lower esophageal sphincter is opened and not closed, that food is going to regurgitate right back up and cause issues such as heartburn and the patient's going to feel very uncomfortable. So by not eating one to two hours before bed, it can make a significant difference. Also, a patient should increase their fiber intake. Why should a patient increase their fiber intake? Well, it's because fiber is a great binder. It's going to bind onto food and pull it down and keep it within the stomach so it doesn't regurgitate right back up to the esophageal sphincter causing heartburn. A patient should take antacids, such as Tums, for example. Um, what that's going to do is going to neutralize the acidity. Some counterindications of taking in too much Tums, it can increase the calcium carbonate levels and it could lead to issues such as, as kidney stones and that's just a whole different type of problem. Also, introducing milk of magnesium is a medication. What that's going to do, it's going to coat the stomach and it's also going to relax the muscular layers of the stomach so it's not going to be irritated that push the acidity up to the esophagus and causing the heartburn also it's important to mention some of the diagnostics the diagnostics that are involved is a barium swallow test what that's going to do a patient's going to drink some barium and what that's going to do is going to help detect a hiatal hernia so if you liked this video make sure to subscribe and share also i do have study sheets on etsy.com I will keep a link in the description. I will also keep it at the end of this video so you will see it. So with that being said, thank you for watching and have a good one.